sing and dance along with Bob the Builder and the crew in Bob Live, Bob's Live Stage Show. Coming soon to home video and DVD. Come on, everybody, round the old bandstand. Let's play together in Bob's Brass Band. Everybody's moving to the big bass drum. Smiling and waving, having so much fun. Scoop up the fears in rolling along. Lonely and lonely, singing the song. Joining the fun, it's noisy old song. Coming to home video and DVD, summer 2004. Mrs. Broadbent's got a big bulge in her wall, and it needs to be repaired. <laughs> Where's Mrs. Broadbent's big bulge, Bob? Well, actually, Muck, one end of her house has a lot of damp bricks that need to be replaced, or the whole wall might collapse. Oh, that sounds difficult. It's tricky, Dizzy, but we can do it. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Wendy. Hello, hello Farmer, Farmer Pickles. Pickles. Oh, hello there, Farmer Pickles. Good morning, Scruffy. <laughs> oh, poor Scruffy. Pilcher doesn't like dogs. <laughs> Silly dog. What are you doing? Scruffy's like me. He loves digging. Well, I can't stand around here chatting all day. Hmm. We better get moving, too, right, Bob? Yes, there's lots to do today. Scruffy, come on now. Here, boy. Come on, boy. That's a good boy. Sorry, Scruffy. You can't come with us. Dogs aren't allowed on a construction site. Only machines. <laughs> oh, cheer up, Scruffy. I'll give you a nice, juicy bone when we get home. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Yeah, uh, I think so. Goodbye. See you later. Bye-bye. Hmm. It's a tricky job, Wendy. Hmm, yes. It looks like we'll have to take out a lot of the old bricks. All right. Let's get started. Oh, uh, uh, Bob. 
Bob, if you take the bricks away, won't the house fall down? Don't worry, Dizzy. We'll hold it up with some strong metal supports. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's good. There you go, Scruffy. Good boy. That should keep you busy. Go on now. I have work to do. Hey, Lofty. Can you hand up some bricks for me? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think so. Thanks, Lofty. Uh, Muck, we might need some more mortar. Could you go back to the yard to get a few more bags? No problem, Wendy. I'll be back soon. in trouble. I better go see. Uh, hello? Oh, it's a, it's a ghost. Oh, it's a ghost. Whoa! Hi, Hi Muck. What's the matter? Oh, Bob. I just heard a terrible howling noise coming from a big hole. What? A ghost? Are you sure, Muck? Yes! Yes! Come see for yourself! Oh, you better go, Bob. I can finish up here. Okay, Wendy. A howling noise coming from a big hole in the ground. Hmm. Lofty, you come too. We might need you. Uh, but, Bob, aren't ghosts really scary? Um, scary? Don't worry, Lofty. There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, okay, Bob. I think. Well, Muck, I don't hear anything. But there was a noise. A really scary noise. It, it came from down there. Well, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> There's your ghost, Muck. It's Scruffy! Stuck in an old rabbit hole. Scruffy, what are you doing down there? You were digging and you fell into a hole? Don't worry, we'll get you out soon. Ugh, I can't reach him. The hole's too deep. What are we gonna do? I know. Lofty, can you lower your hook and lift Scruffy out of the hole? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Lofty, lower away. A little further, Lofty. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Good job, Lofty. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, that's enough, Scrafty. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. What's going on? I thought you were working at Mrs. Broadbent's house. We were, but Scruffy got stuck in a rabbit hole. Muck heard him, so we came and rescued him. <laughs> well, poor Scruffy. Good job, Muck. We can't leave the hole like that. It's too dangerous. But you can't fill it in, Bob. Where will the rabbits go? I think they've already found somewhere else to live. Okay, then. 
Let's finish the job. Can we fill it? Nice job, Wendy. It looks good as new. I'm sure Mrs. Broadbent will be very pleased, but we'll have to match the new bricks with the rest of the wall. We can come back tomorrow and do that. <sighs> Excuse me. Right now, I just want to get back to the yard. Oh, me too, Bob. Let's go. And I heard this terrible howling noise. I went right up to the hole and looked down into it. Oh, that's really brave, Ma. Yeah, I know. And Lofty was brave too. Oh yeah, Lofty was brave. Lofty was the one who pulled Scruffy out. But but it was you that found him first, Ma. Yeah, it was me who found him first. <coughs> Hi, Scruffy. What do you have there? Scruffy's brought you a thank you present for his best friend, Ma. <coughs> oh, thank you, Scruffy. That's a lovely bone. <coughs> But I don't really need a bone. Why don't you keep it, Scruffy? No, don't dig another hole, Scruffy. <laughs> oh, we don't want this roof falling in on top of us, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Scruffy. Wendy can take care of your bone. <laughs> I'll put it in a safe place, and you can have it the next time you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Look what came in the mail, Finn. I wonder what's inside. Oh, great! My new boots. What do you think, Finn? You know, I think I'll wear them to work today. Uh, Lofty, you're with Bob today. He needs you to help fix a broken gate. Uh, oh, okay, Wendy. Muck, Scoop, you're with me. Okay, Wendy. Yay, terrific. Oh, Bob, what was in the box? My new work boots. Shh, everyone. I can hear squeaking. Uh, I can't hear anything. Oh, yes. I can hear it now. <laughs> It sounds like mice. Oh, 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 mice! <laughs> Don't worry, Lofty. It's not mice. Oh, 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 oh! If if you're sure. <laughs> Bob, I know where the squeaks are coming from. Where? Your new boots. They need to be broken in to soften the leather. <laughs> Bob squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you need oiling, Bob. <laughs> You're right, Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better get some work done. Are you coming with me, Bob? No, Lofty. I'll walk to the job to break my boots in. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, I think so. You see, Travis, the quickest way to Bob's yard is to go left at the fork. I'm sure it's right. No, left is the right way. How can left be right? L no, uh, left is still left, but to get to town, left is right, right? That's what I said, didn't I? No, left is right, you see, Travis. Left is the right way, right? What are you two arguing about? The quickest way to Bob's yard. Oh, well, now. They say the quickest way is usually as the crow flies. <laughs> or should I say, as the bird flies. It means the quickest way to get to anywhere is in a straight line. I can walk faster than any old bird can fly. <laughs> I'm not so sure you can, Spud. Come on, Travis. We've got work to do. See you, Spud. <laughs> I'll show them, bird. Come on, I'll race you to Bob's yard. <laughs> oh! 
spots on the job! Okay, Lofty, let's get moving. Left a little. Right a little. Okay, straight down. Oh, oh. Be careful now. Oh. There. That's it, Lofty. Phew. I think it must be time for lunch. Oh, what have you got today, Bob? My favorite. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a big cream puff. Whoa! Quick, Lofty! Oh. It's blowing away! Oh, oh no! After it. Uh, 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 oh, I'm tired. Uh, and hungry. Wow, I wonder whose lunch this is. Well, <laughs> finders keepers. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly. Uh, what's this? Hey, a cream puff. Hey, wait for me, bird. I'm gonna save this till I get to the yard. <laughs> oh, I hope Mrs. Percival is gonna be happy with her new kitchen. Yeah. Phew. Cleaning up isn't much fun, Wendy. Can't we do something exciting like build a super duper playground or? <laughs> no, Mark. Cleaning up after a job is just as important as doing the job. Oh. Okay, Wendy. Ah, oh, phew. Got it, Lofty. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, I'm ready for my lunch after all that running around. Hmm. Let's go, Bob. Hold it. Who's been eating my sandwiches? And where's my cream puff? Have you seen it, Lofty? Uh, no, Bob. The last I saw of it was... Mice? Come back, Lofty! It isn't mice. It's only my boots. Come back, Lofty! My... Phew! <laughs> Finished! Hello, Wendy! Can't stop! Bye, Wendy! Mice! 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 What's going on? Mice, Lofty! Where? <laughs> Behind me! Look! M mice! Lofty, there aren't any mice, see? Oh, mice! Lofty, you were right! Wow! <laughs> Look! They like my squeaky boots, don't they? Help! I don't like it! I don't like it! <laughs> Made it all the way to Bob's yard as the crow flies. <laughs> Beat that, bird. Oh, well, finally I can have my cream puff. Excuse me. What have you got there, Spud? Cream puff, Bob. It's really, uh, uh, is it yours? Yes, it is mine. You shouldn't take people's things without asking first. I didn't know, Bob. I'm really sorry, Bob. I won't do it again, Bob. <laughs> Aren't you going to share it? Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> hey, get away! It's mine! <laughs> oh, dear. Hello? Hello, Wendy. Oh, hi, Bob. Where's Spud running off to? Oh, he's he's just helping some friends get back home. Bob, have you noticed? 
Your boots have stopped squeaking. So they have. I must have broken them in with all that rushing around. You've had a busy day then? Not really. You could say it's been as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> 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 Leave me alone! Get lost! <laughs> oh, go away! I'm a cat! Meow! Okay, Bob. I'm off to the hardware store to get some paint for Mrs. Potts' fence. Okay, Wendy. See you later. Oh, hold on. Here's Mr. Beasley. Hello, Bob. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Hello Mr. Beasley. Beasley. What can we do for you? Actually... Well, it's my vegetable patch, you know, where I grow my vegetables. Yes, Mr. Beasley. The thing is, every time it rains, my garden tools get wet. I, I need somewhere to store them. What sort of thing did you have in mind, Mr. Beasley? Well, I, I really don't know. How about something like that? It keeps the rain off, doesn't it, Scoop? Oh, yes. And the snow. And the sun. What do you think, Bob? No problem, Mr. Beasley. I'll start on it as soon as I finish tidying the workshop. Hmm, I'll need some materials, though. Support posts, some roofing... Don't worry, Bob. I'll get them when I get my paint. And I'll drop them off at your vegetable patch on my way to Mrs. Potts. Oh, that's terrific, Wendy. <laughs> I'll come by later to see how you're doing, Bob. Bye for now. Bye, Mr. Beasley. Bye. Okay, Mutt. Here we go. Bye. Okay, now the workshop's all tidy again. We better get ready for Mr. Beasley's job, Dizzy. You'll have to mix some cement for the floor. Yippee! Rolly, you'll have to roll it flat. Rock and roll! And Lofty! Yes, Bob? You can lift the roof on for me, okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Now then, I'm gonna need my spirit level. Uh, what's a spirit level, Bob? It's a special tool for making sure things are level, Lofty. You see, when the bubble's in the middle of the two lines, it means everything's nice and straight. We don't want Mr. Beasley's tool shed to have a crooked roof, do we? Uh, no, we don't, do we, Bob? Huh. Here we are, Muck. We'll put the materials down by Mr. Beasley's tools. Okay, Wendy. Ah, there. Now Bob has everything he needs and we can go on to Mrs. Potts. Come on, team. We're going to Mr. Beasley's vegetable patch. Can you fix it? Oh, hold it, everybody. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hello, Bob. Mr. Dixon here. I have a sort of an emergency. Oh, no. What happened? Well, there's a leak in the roof of my delivery office, and the rain's been dripping onto the packages. I've had to put them all out into the street. Don't worry, Mr. Dixon. I'll get there as soon as I can. Thanks, Bob. You're one in a million. Change of plan, everybody. We have to get over to Mr. Dixon's delivery office right away. But what about Mr. Beasley? I'll call him and let him know we're going to be late. I'll just drop by my vegetable patch to see how Bob's doing there. Oh, he must be out. Oh, well, that's okay. It shouldn't take very long to fix Mr. Dixon's roof. Can you fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Mrs. Potts. I've come to paint your fence. Okay, Wendy. You get started, and I'll make us a nice cup of tea. You do have a hole here, but it's not too serious. I'll just have to replace a section of your asphalt roofing. Oh, I see. First, let's take this old stuff off. That's funny. No sight of Bob. He must have been held up. All his stuff's here, though. Oh, I know. Here's my chance for a little do-it-yourself. I'll start the job for him. He'll be really pleased. Okay, Lofty. Forward a little. Oh, 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 oh. Down a little. Good job, Lofty. We'll get this roof fixed up soon. Good. That's the last supporting post. <laughs> Let's see now. Ooh, pretty good if I do say so myself. Uh-oh, maybe that was just a little too high. <laughs> now then, where's my saw? Yoo-hoo, 
Wendy, I thought you might like a cup of tea. Oh, another one. Well, um. I always say there's nothing like a nice cup of tea. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mrs. Potts. <laughs> ah, that's much better. Uh, no, what's next? Oh, you've done a great job, Wendy. I bet you're ready for a nice cup of tea. Oh, no thanks, Mrs. Potts. Uh, we have another job to go to. Don't we, Muck? Do we? Yes, you know. Mr. Beasley's vegetable patch? I said we'd drop by to see if Bob needs any help. So, uh, thanks anyway, Mrs. Potts, but, uh, we'd better get going. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Very nice job, considering I did it myself. But I'd better make sure it's good and straight. I'll go and get my spirit level. <laughs> My, what on earth's happened here? And where's Bob? Oh, I don't know, Muck. This is very strange. I'd better give him a call. There you go, Mr. Dixon. All done. Oh, thanks a lot, Bob. Hold on. That sounds like my cell phone. Uh, didn't you take it on the roof with you, Bob? You're right, Dizzy. I did. Oh, no. He's not answering. What are we going to do, Wendy? Well, we can't leave it like this. We'll have to try to fix it before Mr. Beasley sees it. Oh, phew! There! How does that look now, Muck? Oh, much better, Wendy. Good! Well, let's get back to the yard and find out what's happened to Bob. Bye, Mr. Dixon. Bye, Bob. Okay, team. Full speed ahead to Mr. Beasley's vegetable patch. Oh, hello, Mr. Beasley. Sorry we're a little late. That's all right, Bob. I started the job myself. Look. Wow. You've done a really good job, Mr. Beasley. Well, I've always been very handy with tools and things like that. <laughs> I was just going to double-check to make sure everything's straight. No problem, Mr. Beasley. It's all level. Now all we have to do is finish the floor and put on the roof. So, Bob didn't come back to get more tools or anything? Sorry, Wendy. I haven't seen him since he left this morning. Well, I don't understand. What could have happened to him? Hey there, Wendy. I have Bob's mail here. Oh, thanks, Mr. Dixon. And do say thanks to Bob when you see him. He did a great job on my roof. So that's where he was. But it still doesn't explain the job for Mr. Beasley. Yeah, it looked like Mr. Beasley did it himself. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Beasley. He tries his best. Come on, let's get up to the vegetable patch and see what's going on. That's it, Lofty. Down a little. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Left a little. Perfect. Yoo-hoo, Bob. Oh, hello, Wendy. Everything all done at Mrs. Potts? Yes, we finished early, so we thought we'd come and see how you're doing. Uh, didn't we, Muck? Yeah, we thought you were... So anyway, the tool shed looks terrific, doesn't it, Mr. Beasley? Yes, well, you know, I got it off to a good start. That's right. Mr. Beasley was a great help. Everything nice and level. I couldn't have done it better myself. You know me, Bob. <laughs> Anything to help. <laughs> yes, Mr. Beasley. Well, I think you both did very well. <laughs> oh, I wonder what this is. Oh, it's very shiny. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Hello, Bob. Morning. 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 What's this, Bob? This is a rainwater tank for Farmer Pickle's farm. It catches all the water when it rains, and then you can use it to water the fields when it's dry. Wow, that's smart. It is, Rolly. And we're going to set it up for Farmer Pickles. Brilliant. <laughs> can I help, Bob? 
<laughs> yes, we're going to need some cement, Dizzy. And I'll need Scoop and Lofty, too. Muck and Rolly, you can stay at the yard with me. I've got a very special job to do today. Great! Oh, cool! <laughs> hey, where are Bob and the machines going with that big, um, uh, thing? Bet it's more fun than being a scarecrow. I'll see if I can help them out. Wait for me! Oh! Spots on the job! <laughs> so, what do you think, Farmer Pickles? Where's the best place for the tank? Let's see. Oh, here! This is perfect! There's always lots of rain here. And we can attach the pipes so the water flows down the hill. Oh, that's great, Bob. We'll do it right now, Farmer Pickles. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Come on, Scruffy. Scoop can dig the foundation faster than you. <laughs> You making Wendy? Yeah, what's the special job? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. You too, Pilcher. Wow. Oh, I want to know. Oh, please tell me now. Yeah, yeah, me too. Great, all the pipes are finished. Ta da! Spud's on the job. Oh, hello, hello Spud. Spud. Hi, I've come to help you out. Uh, thanks, Bud, but we don't really need any help right now. Oh. Now, Scoop and I are just going down to connect the pipes to Farmer Pickle Sprinklers. Dizzy and Lofty, you two stay here, and we'll install the water tank together when I get back. Okay, um, Bob! Okay, Bob. I'll stay too, Bob, to make sure they don't get into any trouble. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Spud. Don't worry, Bob. Spud's in charge. <laughs> Okay, Muck and Rolly, I finished. Close your eyes. Oh, what is it, Wendy? All right, you can look now. Oh, wow! It's a boat! I made it for my nephew. It's his birthday tomorrow. It's fantastic, Wendy! Uh, should we go to the duck pond and try it out? Oh, yes! Yeah, please. Great idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a minute, you two. I've had a great idea. I know how we can help Bob. Let's put the water tank up while he's gone. Uh, I don't think we should, Spud. Uh, Bob said to wait till he gets back. <laughs> don't worry. Spud never makes any mistakes. I'll tell you what to do. Bob's going to be so happy we've done it without him. <laughs> I guess it would save him some work. Then let's get to work. Come on, Dizzy, mix up cement. At Lofty, you get ready to pick up the water tank. There. When the tank has water in it, you just turn this faucet and the sprinklers will come on, Farmer Pickles. Well, that seems easy enough, Bob. Come on, Scoop. Let's get back and set up the tank. Okay, Bob. <laughs> That, that's it, Lofty. Over here. Move it, move it. Oh, uh, I don't think this is the right way to do it, Spud. Of course it is. Uh, move it to the right. Uh, I mean, oh, oh, uh, uh, left. No, uh, right. Oh, oh, oh no, the other right. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, no. Oh, Lofty, you dropped it. Oh, Spud, I'm sorry. Come on, follow that tank. <laughs> oh, great weather for boating. <laughs> oh, look at it go! It's the best boat we've ever seen! Yeah! It's the only boat we've ever seen. Whoa! Look out, everybody! Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> it's the water tank. How did that get there? <laughs> Hello, Wendy. Oh, Spud. That's how it got there. Oh, my! Oh, my! 
Hello, Dizzy. Where's Lofty? Uh, and where's the water tank? Well, uh, Spot told us we should help you, and Lofty dropped it, and oh, oh, we're really sorry, Bob. Oh, my, oh, my. Okay, Dizzy, it's all right. Which way did it go? It rolled down the hill. Oh, no. The mast is broken and the sails are torn. Fixing it will take forever. Oh, no, what happened here? Lofty dropped the water tank down the hill, Bob. Only because you told him to move it, Spud. Isn't that true? Uh, yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. I was only trying to help out. I know, Spud. But you should have waited until I got back again. And now my toy boat's broken. It was a present for my nephew's birthday. Oh, I'll never be able to make a new one in time. Sorry, Wendy. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Wendy, can you take the water tank back to Farmer Pickle's field? All right, Bob. I'll go back to the yard and work on this. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Good. Let's go, Lofty. There. Whew. <laughs> All finished. There isn't any water in it, Wendy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and there won't be until it rains, Dizzy. But the way those clouds look, I don't think we'll have to wait long. Now, let's see how Bob's doing with that boat. Here you are, Wendy. One boat. Good as new. Oh, where's the sail? Well, it doesn't need a sail. Watch. Oh, oh God, that's great. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's a speedboat. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, let's get back to the yard. That was quite a lot of rain. My new water tank should be nice and full now. Let's see if the sprinklers work. Ooh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, what are they up to? I'll help you out, Farmer Pickles. Spot's on the job. Don't! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Spud. <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, my nose is running. <laughs> Can I have some more plaster, Wendy? One more bucket should do the trick. One bucket of plaster coming up. Uh, here you are, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. The plaster's drying nicely. We should be able to give it a coat of paint before the end of the day. Oh, no. I left the paint and brushes back at the yard. Well, I finished here. I'll go back and get them. Thanks, Wendy. Can you give me a lift scoop? Hop on, Wendy. I'll be as quick as I can, Bob. There's no rush. The plaster will take a while to dry properly. Oh, well, in that case, I might just go over to Mrs. Potts. She's asked me to lay a new garden path for her. I could get started on it this afternoon. Good idea, Wendy. Okay, Bob. See you later. Bye. Phew, this load is really heavy. Oh, yeah, this bag of cement is so heavy, my tires have gone all squishy. You're lucky, Rolly. You don't have anything to carry. Oh, yes, I do, Dizzy. My rollers weigh a ton, and I have to take them everywhere I go. I hope your rollers are nice and clean for Mrs. Potts. She's really fussy about her garden. There we are. That's the weatherproofing paint and the brushes for Bob. Okay, Scoop. There you go. Bye. Okay, team. Can we pave it? Yes, we can! Oh, hello.
Hello, Wendy. Hello, Mrs. Potts. Have you decided where you'd like your garden path to go? Well, Wendy, I don't know whether to have it going that way, you see, or this way. I want it to be near my statues, but, oh, oh dear, I just can't decide. Well, which are your favorite statues, Mrs. Potts? Oh, oh, the Greek goddess, and, oh, and Cheeky Charlie, my smiley gnome. Well, then, the new path should go alongside them. Oh, that's a terrific idea, Wendy. I'll get started right away. Mrs. Potts? I think you're too big to roll my new path. You might flatten my Cheeky Charlie. Oh, I, I, I was just... I can move Cheeky Charlie out of the way and put him back when Rolly's finished. No, there's my flower beds, too. Uh, Rolly might squash my fuchsias. No, I won't. It'd be better if you use my small hand roller, Wendy. It's in the shed. A hand roller? That's not a real machine. Uh... There, you see? That won't flatten my flowers. It won't flatten anything. I'll leave it to you, Wendy. I've got to run to the store. I won't be long. Bye, Mrs. Potts. Hand roar. Sorry about that, Roly, but I have to keep the customer happy. Yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, I do need your advice on how to use this little roller, Roly. Oh, uh, uh, well, first, you have to put all your weight behind the roller and give it a great oh, big what? push. Uh, like this? <sighs> Ooh, phew, this is hard work, Roly. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Oh, hang on, Wendy, you've missed a little. Uh, uh. These flagstones are really heavy. Oh. oh, oh, be careful with my flagstones, Muck. Yeah, be careful, Muck. Oh, okay, Mrs. Potts. Oh. I'm off to the store to get some fresh bread for lunch. Oh. 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 That was hard work, Roly. Yeah, those little rollers don't have an engine like me, so you can't rock and roll. Oh. Hello, Bob. Is the plaster all dry? Okay. Yes, I'll get Roly to give me a lift. See you soon. Are you going to leave Muck and Dizzy here by themselves? Just for a little while. Oh. Now, Muck, I want you to lay the flagstones onto the path. Okay, Wendy. Now I have to hurry. See you later. Bye. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Bob. Thanks for the lift, Rolly. Oh, that's okay, Wendy. We'll see you two back at the yard. Bye. Bye. Is everything all right at Mrs. Potts? Oh, sure. I left Muck laying the flagstones and Dizzy keeping an eye on her. Oh, is that a good idea? Leaving those two on their own? Oh, they'll be fine. Anyway, I won't be very long. All right, Muck. Ready when you are. Oh, look out! Oh, no! Muck! Uh, what is weatherproofing paint, Bob? It stops the rain and the damp soaking into the bricks. Oh, wow. That's neat. Wendy... I'm worried about what Muck and Dizzy might get into on their own. Oh, it's all right, Bob. I told them exactly what to do. Mm. But are you sure, Wendy? Uh, oh, maybe I better go back and see how they're doing. Good idea. Oh, no, Muck, what's happened? I, I, I had an accident. Oh, what is Mrs. Potts going to say when she sees this? Uh, Wendy, um, couldn't we use the broken stones to make Mrs. Potts' path? Crazy paving. Crazy dizzy. No, Muck. Crazy paving. That's what it's called when you make a path out of broken flagstones. 
Dizzy, that's a great idea! Oh, Dizzy's crazy painting! There we are, Lofty! One wall, all finished! Uh, should I take the scaffolding back, Bob? Don't worry, Lofty. I'll be back tomorrow with Muck. Right now, I want to see how Mrs. Potts' path is coming along. Oh, it looks great! Oh, you're really smart, Dizzy. Oh, oh, thanks, Muck! But I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I wonder what Mrs. Potts will say. Oh, hello, Bob. Hello, Mrs. Potts. I've come to see your new path. Oh, thank you, Bob. Uh, come on through. Oh, it's so pretty. You've made crazy paving. Good job, all of you. Oh, look. Don't you think there's something different about my cheeky Charlie? I, I, I don't know what it is. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's his squashed nose. Shh. It was you that squashed it. Oh, maybe it's um uh, the new position. You know, I mean, he looks more handsome than ever standing next to your new path. Oh, yes. Oh, the path is gorgeous. Oh, it was such a smart idea of yours, Wendy to use those little pieces of broken stone. Actually, Mrs. Potts, it wasn't my idea. It was Dizzy's. Oh, well, I think you're very smart, Dizzy. Uh, no, don't thank me. Muck gave me the idea <laughs> when she dropped the... Uh, oh, oh, what Dizzy oh. means is that they thought of it together. They're always having smashing ideas. Bob the Builder has the tools to get the job done. All right, everybody. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! I just need to grab my toolbox and I can get started. We'll need one of those pipes, some traffic cones, and my pneumatic drill. Okay, time to start digging. And drilling. And sawing. Teamwork and tool power mean constructive fun. See Bob the Builder in Tool Power from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Can you join it? Yes, you can! Join the Bob the Builder Fan Club by calling toll-free 1-888-956-8762 or join online at www.bobthebuilder.com. Be a part of Bob's crew. Hello, Mr. Beasley. Let's get started on our home safety check. Bud, you should never play in the kitchen. Oh, uh, Mr. Beasley, that saucepan handle should be facing away from us so it can't be knocked over. Now, what's the first thing you do in an emergency? Call you, Bob? <laughs> no, Mr. Beasley. In an emergency, dial 911 and ask for police, fire, or ambulance. We need to look at your blueprints for home safety. Visit me at my home safety website, and you can learn how to make your home a safer place.